Hi, I'm Chris Gallagher, an instructional developer for Blackboard. Welcome to the Site Workspace Overview tutorial. To access Site Manager, we'll first sign into the Happy Valley School District site as a site director. We'll first enter our username, our password, and then select Sign In. On the home page, we'll select Site Manager on the My Start bar, which will open in a new window. When you first access Site Manager, you'll see the Content Browser, the Top Toolbar, and your Site Workspace. Scrolling down to the bottom of the workspace, you'll see links for blog, suggestions and ideas, the Share Community, and follow us on Twitter. In the Content Browser, the briefcase icon represents the channel, and the number next to the channel indicates the number of sections in that channel. Mousing over the number will display a list of the sections in that channel. Selecting a section name in the list will access that section's workspace. As a site director, you'll have access to the workspaces for all school sites, channels, and sections. Depending on the extended privileges assigned to you through your passport, other items may display in the content browser. For example, this site director has a passport with all the extended privileges and so also has access to users and groups, configure, and content moderation. Your site workspace is where you'll spend the majority of your time, so let's look at each task and feature in the workspace. In the site workspace, you can edit site settings by selecting the settings button next to the district name. On the site settings general tab, you can change the site name, menu name, or create a friendly web address. The red triangle lets you know that these are mandatory fields. On the contact tab, you can change the contact information for your site. On the advanced tab, you can change the site template, change the calendar notification email, activate restricted formatting, show the membership tab for sections in this site, add a NCES district ID, or connect to social media accounts. On the Site Workspace Summary tab, you can edit your site homepage and calendar under Current Pages. The Actions button next to the homepage allows you to edit the page, set page options, or get a link to the page. The Actions button next to Calendar also allows you to set viewers for the page. Selecting Edit Page always takes you to the Page Details window where you can edit individual apps. You'll also see a thumbnail image with color-coded letters that correspond to the app locations on your home page. Your site template controls the home page layout. Under Actions, you can manage the apps for the page, set page options, or view the page. Page Options allows you to enable page caching for your page. View page will show how the page will look on the end user website. Selecting the Manage Apps and Layout link activates Design Mode. In Design Mode, you can add an app to the page, delete an app from the page, organize your apps by dragging and dropping, or change the app name by double-clicking on the name. When you're finished designing your page, simply select I'm done. Your page will automatically be saved and you'll be returned to the Page Details window. In your site workspace, you'll also see quick links to common tools, and a snapshot of total visits to that workspace on the end user website. If your district has either social media framework or blogs, you'll also see a block for pending comments. This will allow you to approve, review, or decline comments right in your workspace. There are additional one-click access links to common tools, pending comments, and total visits. In Common Tools, selecting All Tools takes you to the Tools tab. Under Pending Comments, selecting All Comments opens the Approve Visitor Comments window, which can also be found on the Tools tab. Under Total Visits, selecting All Statistics takes you to the Statistics tab. In this area, you'll see news and information from Blackboard. Next, when you enable Mobile in the System Settings, the Mobile Site tab will display. Blackboard allows you to provide users with mobile versions of the apps on the home pages and upcoming events for your district and school sites. Specifically designed for mobile browsing, these apps load faster and are more mobile friendly than your full website. On the Tools tab, you can access and manage the tools and apps for your site workspace. On the Directors and Viewers tab, you can assign site directors, home page editors, and set viewing rights for your site. On the Channels tab, you can assign and manage the channels for your site. On the Statistics tab, you have access to the statistics for your site. On the How Do I tab, you can access help articles, video tutorials, and additional resources. If you don't find what you're looking for on the How Do I tab, or if you just have a topic suggestion for the TechCom team, select the Suggest a Topic button to submit your topic suggestions. 
Finally, you can view the website and access community and support from the top toolbar on your site workspace. Congratulations, you have completed the site workspace overview tutorial. Be sure to check the How to Why tab regularly for new and updated materials. Thanks for watching.